key sectors in Africa are very sensitive to climate change. We build infrastructure here. Some has to be here for 100 years. We cannot necessarily predict uh, climate. So that's why any investment in infrastructure today has to account for climate change. The first known carbon neutral industrial zone in the world today is in Africa. And we can do that at scale in a carbon neutral way. If we do that, we will reduce shipping, we will reduce the carbon footprint of most of what we have, we will provide origin traceability for what is produced. There's been a very keen focus on mitigation and the focus on the 1.5 degrees, but not all countries, economies, businesses are heavy emitters. What's more important, I think, is to build up the, the resilience and the muscle to be able to withstand all the shocks that we've seen, more financing towards adaptation to really allow countries and economies to bounce back better. I see a future where you have access for all of the population of, of the continent, diversified with renewable energy technologies because that's the most efficient way to generate electricity nowadays. Once the power pools are in place in the different regions, the southern, the eastern, the western, and hopefully the northern, you'll have a very efficient system across the continent. And at the end of the day, efficiency means less cost, means more productivity. What needs to happen, a belief in the African continent, the ability to develop large and significant projects that will allow for investment and investment capital. 40% of the solar irradiation potential globally lies in Africa. So it's about taking that potential, using it to build out affordable, even cheap renewable energy, and exporting that, for instance, to Europe, directly through interconnectors, or transferring that energy over into, for instance, green hydrogen and green ammonia, and exporting that into the global market. When you look at the level of skills that are required for people to use the green technologies out there. We need to tap into reskilling and making sure that we make education accessible or even tap into those resources that allow young people to actually learn. We need to basically support African countries to industrialize, to cut the emissions of shipping and transportation. So we need to support Africa to have the initial stages of industrialization and to localize some of the manufacturing. It's extremely important.